Hi, this screencast is going to walk through extending the web form module using add-ons. My name is Jacob Rockowitz. I'm known as Jay Rockowitz on the web. I'm a Drupal developer and software architect. I built and maintain the web form module for Drupal 8. So what are add-ons? Well, add-ons are Drupal modules and projects that extend and provide additional functionality to the web form module and Drupal's form API. So there are a bunch of add-ons available and more to come. And we'll walk through them. And you know, the, the types of web form add-ons that are kind of available in this kind of the breakdown is you generally, you know, spam protection is a big one. There's improvements to validation, extra elements, integration would be, for example, the MailChimp module, integrating with MailChimp, improving submission handling. Um, it's not an add-on to the web form module, but if you want to attach files to emails being sent, you're going to have to enable a mail module. Um, there's some modules to help with REST API, configuration, migration, multilingual, sometimes utilities and development. These are kind of the categories I'm breaking things down into. Um, I'm just highlighting a few here, but you know, add-ons that improve user experience, spam protection is key, so you have to think about enabling the Honeypot and Captcha module. Um, client-side validation is a really nice module because it adds a JavaScript client-side validation library, which just improves the user experience a lot. For site builders, if you're dealing with inserting images into emails and stuff like that, you're going to want to enable the IMC module, which makes it easy to get images onto your server that can then be sent an email. The web form views module, if you're doing any advanced reporting. There's also a mail log module. Like these are developer tools that I recommend. The mail log module will just capture all emails on your dev server, which is very useful. Um, and I consider this a site builder tool, not a developer tool. And, and for developers, you know, there is a web form migrate module available. And you know, since web forms are configuration, to manage configuration, you sometimes need to use the config split module. Um, that's a way to make sure you're only importing and exporting certain configuration. Generally, you don't want to import and export web forms or blocks. And I'm going to demo the page to you and just walk you through it. So it's over here when you install the module. Only admins can see it. This page is available on Drupal.org, but I'm just trying to aggregate and keep track of it. I'm storing certain modules that I think are important for you to look at. There's, there is this one for custom composite elements, so you can kind of, it's reusable, so you can define like this is our address element and have it reused throughout your site. Um, I, you know, there's a lot, the integrations I think are very fascinating. If you're doing any integration, you should look at these modules and see if something comes close to what you need because they can provide you with a starting point. Um, if you're doing, for example, MailChimp, if you're doing any integration with mailing lists, I recommend looking at the web form MailChimp module, and even just to look at the code if you're a developer. Um, finally, with mail, you need to you look at the mail system module, SMTP authentication, there's a mass mailer. Um, Lingotech has support for translating web forms out of the box. It's a nice, simple feature. Here's our spam protection. Um, something that was missing from my slides is the web form analysis, which will generate charts from your results and tell you who, how many people filled out what very nice little feature. Um, what else? I, I mean, we're walking through client-side validation. By the way, you can see this is going to keep growing and growing. Token is a big one. I almost wish I could require it, but I can't. You should always have token module installed on your sites. I mean, I, I hope this helps you get a good concept of the lay of the land in the community of what what's going on with web form add-ons and what people are doing. Um, and yeah, it's it's Drupal's community um, of contributor modules and core. It's that's the real power behind the web form module. I kind of want to emphasize that because web form module extends form API, which is coming from core. And so a lot of these modules are just extending form API or other APIs in core. And that that's where we're going to get the real beauty behind this module because right now it just builds good forms. What you do with those forms and the data coming in is going to be the kind of the part that where the community is going to step in and do some kind of amazing things. And so just some, you know, things you should think of exercises to pay attention. Definitely always set up spam protection. It's probably the third time I've mentioned it. Um, IMC, turn it on. Client side, you should try it and look at it. And, and you know, this configuration management issue is definitely there because web forms are config. So you need to research configuration management solutions. There's great presentations out there about managing your configuration in Drupal 8, and you should look into it. 
Um, you can learn more about me at jrockwoods.com. And I just want to say thank you and have fun playing with the Webform module. Take care.